everyone so today i'm coming with another unhaul because as you know i have a lot of stuff so it's a little crowded in here so i thought i'd face some things out and along with i went crazy on ami ami so i'm looking just to generate some extra money because i wasn't expecting them to bill as much as they did like i thought they'd pace it and instead they were just like hey all of these are done i'm like really <laughs> so we're gonna start with the things that are actively on ebay right now that you can go and purchase uh so first up is um from last video uh they weren't quite up yet but the marin prize figure and the miku winter outfit are both up those are both figures and then the magia record tamaki mini nesso is also up there as well so moving on to things that aren't from last video. Uh, first up we have this set of Lost Story Ar Arcana Melia acrylic standees. This is a Tome game. Um, but these are the acrylics that I purchased in a blind box set and I don't really know these characters so I'm selling them because I've only bought the display box for one character because it was like $30 for the box. I'm like yeah I'd pay that much at a con for that one acrylic but now I have all these extra little acrylics and I'm like oh, I don't really need them so I'm selling that this was up on eBay but it just sold like the other week it is the Sailor Moon Shu Uemura eyelash curler uh, which looks very nice but I just didn't have a need for it I have an eyelash curler um, and honestly I ended up with it because I wanted the special bonus stuff during a um, purchase period so like this keychain back here for Sailor Moon is one of those items and I got the little like compact mirror and a pouch and that was what I wanted so I decided to sell off the eyelash curler to pay for them effectively it took a while but <laughs> uh, the other thing that I had bought too to get those bonus items is the Sailor Moon Shu -e Uremura uh, cleansing oil, which I'm sure works well um, but I just don't really need it right now. I have my own already, um, though I am running low, so I could use that one, but I just know it has some valuable value as a collectible, so I was hoping to try to sell it just to recoup some money because it's not something I really need. Uh, the next thing up is the cinnamon roll skirt. I bought this like a year ago found it randomly while thrifting and I've worn it a few times but it's just not my thing I just don't reach for it so it's bumming because I was like excited to find it um and I didn't realize after I took it home that it had some stains it came with so that's a little bumming too um but I just always wore like a big shirt with it and that covered the stains so just decided to give that new life uh did sell the other day is the Hatsune Miku Good Smile t-shirt uh, which I picked up at NYC. I really liked the shirt, but the image is just, it's on the back and my hair's always covering it. So I tried wearing it like with the image on the front and that just drove me absolutely nuts. So I'm like, okay, well I've worn it a few times. It's not absolutely my favorite t-shirt and I have some other Miku, so I'm gonna sell this one. So I did and that was nice to move it out of my closet and recoup some money because I thought I was gonna love that more but it just not really working uh I don't even know if anyone would want this but I just threw it up on eBay in case it's the eat sleep anime repeat t-shirt uh pretty basic t-shirt but I know people like that so I figured somebody probably would want it uh honestly it's just it's one of those I bought it because I was like oh that's cool and then I just don't wear it so <laughs> I'm gonna try to uh, make some space in my poor closet and I do have a couple more clothing two k-pop shirts uh my exo uh don't mess up my tempo I think is the shirt but it's this white one and then I have my red velvet shirt I've worn these a bunch and I just don't touch them anymore though so I've decided that since I'm not like attached to them I'd also let go of those and move them on because my closet's kind of full uh, and then we have this Love Live box, uh, Sunshine, which it has food in it, but I just bought it as like a collectible. And because I honestly just thought like anime food was so cool, 
kind of thing um but i just i don't have anywhere to put it so i'm like well since i'm not like super duper attached to this i'm gonna sell it move it out of here i also put up my quintuplets itsuki nakano playmat which is one of the japanese import ones i'm selling this one because i got the group one that comes as a case topper for the english set and it literally has that same image of her but smaller with her other sisters so i'd rather sell that since that's kind of like a double up and i don't really need that mat uh and then i've got two nendroids that i've listed as well um hatsune miku symphony fifth anniversary version she's really cute and all but i just i have a hard time displaying her like she just doesn't really fit on my shelves properly like the way i want her to and um, I'm not sure where it is, but I was supposed to be getting the scale figure. Um, and out of the two, I like the scale way more. I've also enjoyed the Nendo for a while, so figured I'd move it on. Of course, it was an expensive Nendo when I picked it up. Um, and I know it's going to be expensive for shipping, so I had to bump it up a little bit. But if anyone's looking for her, she does have all her parts. And if she's in the box, you can take a look at the listing. And then the other Nendroid I'm selling is my Nendroid Miyamura. Um, from Horimiya. Like, I was really into Mi Horimiya when I picked that up. And I just, like, I like Horimiya, but I don't think I really need the figures because I was going to get the Hori Nendo as well. But I just, I literally have never reposed Miyamura. He's been in the same pose since I've got him. So I'm like, okay, I'm not really motivated to repose him because most of my other Nendroids I will repose every little bit or like move them around or do something with them put them in like little dioramas but I just I literally didn't do anything with them so I'm like okay clearly that's not my favorite Nendroid and figures I will probably list um I was going back and forth about the Symphony Miku uh 2019 but I do have the Nendroid and I think I'm gonna try to focus on repairing my Nendroid so I can enjoy her and move forward the scale figure because it's kind of big um and i do have a lot of mikus and i also can visit a copy my cousin has her so i'm kind of thinking if i should let her go and then one of the other ones i'm looking at uh letting go i just gotta find her box i'm not 100 percent sure where it is but it is the um Taito 10th anniversary Miku. I believe it was part of a Ichiban Kuji in Japan, but I got the mass market version from Tokyo Taku Mode. And like, she's really cute, but this figure drives me absolutely bonkers. Um, with there's two parts that like pop off really easily uh, when I try to move her and dust her. And just for my collection, that's not really helpful because <laughs> uh, figures that fall apart or have situational parts like just does not work well in here so as much as she's cute um i think she's gonna move on once i find the box because i literally like try not to even breathe within an inch of her because of how my shelves are done which is really not great and that base is kind of monstrous for my poor shelves so if someone else can enjoy her that'd be great um i know that one's kind of another expensive one ish i pay for so my listing probably will look ridiculous because I don't charge for shipping. It's included and I know that one's going to be kind of expensive to ship because she comes in a bulky box. So that's unfortunate but I think I'm going to kick her off the shelves and make space for stuff because like I have my Santa girl is literally just living on my desk because there's no room for her. Uh, so that would be great if I could fit her up there. Uh, and then another Miku that I'm looking at getting rid of. Um, it's another one that likes to fall apart when I breathe too close to it. Uh, it is this Mega Mix version, which is super cute. Um, I also just realized more recently that I kind of hate her face, kind of, which is unusual because that doesn't usually bother me. But there's something about her that's just kind of eh. I breathe too close to her, and her pigtails come out. So I think if someone had her on a better shelf than where I have her, she'd be a lot easier to deal with but since I have her on a shelf that's next to me on my bed like above my bed I sometimes hit the shelf and her pigtails just pop out which is really obnoxious I will need to chase down the box but but I'm looking to sell her as well and I'm considering selling 
this Sakura Miku, uh, she's really cute, but her pigtails just kind of annoy me a lot on the shelf. This one, I'm still deciding, so I might hold on to her for a little bit longer, but this is another one that I have some problems with on my shelves, and I kind of figured that I should like go through my shelves and see if there's anyone in particular that I like to test moving, and should probably look at moving them forward to new homes, because obviously I'm not enjoying them as much as I could or be enjoying the other figures around them because I'm stressing them out about this one that's trying to pop apart. I have one wall scroll that I'm considering selling. It is this Senbon Zakura Hatsune Miku one that's like an anniversary one. Uh, it's like made out of like a papery material and has the wooden rods. It's really cool um, but I just I have one spot I can display it in but it's a little annoying there so I was thinking about selling it and not really get much out of it like I was just gonna put it up for like 75 which is probably like what it costed me to bring it over because shipping wasn't cheap on that order I know uh, but it's really cool uh, and it's got like the little um, ties on the bottom too but I just I don't know there's something about it now that I just I'm not loving as much it's just kind of sad but I've enjoyed it for a while so I think I'm good with passing it on to someone else. Uh, and they're not even here yet, but two things I will be selling when they show up. Uh, the first one is this Chizuru Mizuhara Ichiban Kuji figure. I bought this one sealed because I'd been seeing it for a while. I found a really good price. So I was like, okay, I'll get her. And then I found a different Ichiban Kuji that I'd rather have, but I already ordered the swimsuit one. So the swimsuit one will be sold when she gets here, because I'd rather have the other one. I w promised myself I'd only get one Ichiban Chizuru, and that's the- And I'm probably gonna stop collecting Chizuru. As much as I love a lot of her figures, I just- I don't have that much. And then the other figure that I'm going to sell after I do her, like, unboxing video and showcase her is the Clumsy Maid Lily. Um, I think she's, like, 140 which isn't too bad at all for, I think it's a 1-6 scale figure. Some of the early stuff was thinking 1-4, but I think they changed her dimensions. Uh, she's really cute, but I was just looking at her and I'm like, she's a nightmare to my shelves because of how she's done. Um, and I really want that bonus acrylic. That's the thing I want, so I will be keeping that. Uh, so I won't be like cutting her price tag a little bit for that, but I think I definitely will be selling her when she shows up. I might enjoy her for a little bit, like a month or so, and then put her up, but I definitely will be selling her. Because honestly, like, part of this is, um, I was kind of talking about this with someone the other day, that I want to try out, like, other figures, um, but I feel like a lot of these I don't want in the long run, so kind of like a museum, how they don't always stay the same, want to, like, have some more rotation for certain elements of my collection, so that's kind of what I'm looking at doing with those. I just gotta round up those figure boxes for the last remaining few. And yeah, you can check them all out on eBay. They should be all up there. And I know this was kind of like sudden again that I'm doing another unhaul so soon. Um, but I just, I kind of been looking at these items for a while and I'm just like, you know, you need to go. So that's kind of what happened. So anyways, thank you so much for watching and Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye.